<clears throat> There's nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistance. Timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. But you thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. Did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But, if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! Looks good. No! Boring! This one? No! No way! Cow! So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? 
it wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun! Run, Run for, for it! it!
You can't be here. Leave Halloween Town by order of the mayor. Somebody, anybody, I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! Yeah! <laughs> 
down. Not quite. There's more? Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the group. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go. It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found Pepper Wild. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! The mystery is solved! Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm, the doctor's made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. 
Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. You've given me the nicest present in the world. And I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not the gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart. You bet. Tell me that, Sally. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? source of the weird reading we picked up before. And there's something funny about Twilight Town. I'm seeing two of them. Look, it's another huge energy reading, and it's coming from some place near the town. I don't know what's going on, fellas, but it sure looks like there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. Wow, 
It's you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. Don't give me any of that Hiya stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba! <laughs> Simba! <laughs> That's enough! Go on then, see for yourself. Simba is one wishy-washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Scar? Huh? A ghost? We better tell Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there. You came back. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hey Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that Scar Ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it. So, now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See, there you go. Hey, yep, Jacob! Yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today. And find your own path. Live for today. And find my own path. Not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. Mm -hmm. Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. Yeah. 
Whoa. Hi, you. Ah, come on. Can't you guys just leave us alone? Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? Scar's ghost? <laughs> Maybe. You do know. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Scar's ghost. Sorry, we don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king, hmm? Why, you must be a truly inspiring man by now. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah, Simba, running away as always. Simba! <laughs> 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 Gosh, Rafiki was right. You mean Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands.
Father! Hmm, it seems even your daddy has abandoned you. How sad. It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I can't. Fine. Let's go, Shara. Yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. King Simba the Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! Try and stop me. <sighs> you did it! The ghost is gone! We knew you could do it! Hooray for Simba! You know? I'm really lucky to have friends who'll stand by me and help me see clearly. My father wasn't so fortunate. There you go again. I mean, everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. You all want what's best for me. But my father always has Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Simba! <laughs> Simba, come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands. Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there. And now she needs your help. Uh, our little Simba, all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. We're here. Where's Simba? I've come back, Nala. Get out! Way to go, Simba! Are you with me? Now and forever, your majesty.
Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba's courage, or the courage of those who fought beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? I don't know. But I think, as long as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah, the struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never, ever? The secret to victory is a strong heart. Go on, go on, go, go then! <laughs> go on, get out! Yes, yes, it is time! Your fight continues! Till we meet again, Your Majesty. I hope that's soon. It will be. So long.
really can come true if you want them to. And this happiness inside I owe to every one of you. How about you introduce us to these lovely friends of you? Take a bow, Donald, Goofy, and Sora. You found your first love and we found you too. We were glad to help you out and very proud, it's true. Seeing how we made your greatest makes us want to twirl a film. Wishes really can come true if you want them to. And this happiness inside I owe to every one of you. Be so kind to me, great is the king and these is my friends. They say hello. Ariel, I'm so happy for you. Yes, happy endings are so rare and so few. We were glad to help and very proud is true. Seeing how we made you feel. Any other friends of yours that might be waiting in the wings? Come say hello, all my friends from every corner of the world. And who did is starting on a happy angel new beginnings What's happening? A new pathway has opened. What? You gonna go? This is goodbye? I won't do it. We'll never say goodbye. That's right. One, two, three, four. Even, Even though, though we're hitting the road, our words are all connected. Which means we are free to come and go. And sing. So don't be sad and always know we'll come back soon to say hello.